Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time. And I wanted to follow up on a video I released a week or two ago. A week or two ago, I shared with you actuals, income, actual expenses for a C-class 10-unit building that we owned in 2020. And based on the feedback from that video, what I've done over the last week or so is collect reports back since we have owned it. So what we are about to go through are 10 years of actuals, right? Reports right out of the property management system uh, for a 10 unit building. A uh, couple of things to level set. The only expense that you won't see on the report are our mortgage payments, which includes taxes and insurance. Uh, you can write this down. We spent, let's just round it up to $2,000 a month on our mortgage payment. That includes taxes and insurance. If you have to know the number, I think it was 1987 or 1988. So I'm just going to round to $2,000. So again, the only thing that you will not see on these reports are mortgage payments. Uh, you can safely assume it was $2,000 a month uh, since we have owned it. Uh, we did refi it last year, um, but the payment stayed but by basically the same. On top of that, let me tell you about the story how we bought it. And the story how we bought it is why. I sold some apartment buildings in 2019 and 20. So we buy this building, as you will see, in late 2011. We bought it from somebody who bought it in 2006. In 2006, this building was bought for roughly $650,000 a door. Or I'm sorry, it was bought for $650,000 or $65,000 a door. Sorry, got run on sentence there. So again, that was not crazy for the era 2006. They are all one bedroom, one bath, really small units, nothing fancy. Again, C-class, flat roof, just is what it is. Uh, the purchaser of this building uh, was not a, a seasoned landlord. Uh, they were out of the area. They didn't have a team. They tried to do it themselves. And as you will see, the building uh, went downhill. Uh, they... First thought they could, you know, upgrade it, move along, didn't work out. Uh, the tenants took advantage and short, shortly thereafter, they lost the building and we picked it up from a bank. Uh, we picked it up from a bank for just over 200,000. We got it for zero down. Uh, the only thing we had to do was escrow $50,000 uh, for the repairs. And that's what you will see in the first year or first full year. Uh, what else can I tell you about it? Uh, we've had to uh, recycle tenants a couple of times. It was um, it was not full of anyone that we wanted when we took it over. Uh, that was uh, problematic. Uh, you will see that our first full year of rent, we collected 44,000. Uh, now the last full year we collected 83,000. Uh, so again, uh, rent inflation is real. Uh, what else can I tell you? Um, utilities uh, went up from 4,100 uh, to 4,600, so not that bad. Property management fees went up from 3,800 to 5,000. Again, all of these things that you will see. Again, 10 units, C-class building. Uh, let's look year by year. So let me just share it with you. So hopefully you're seeing this now. What you will see is we closed on this right near the end of December. I want to say it was, um, I don't know, December 20th or something like that. Uh, so all of the income or deposits, any of that stuff that would have been done would have been done in escrow. Uh, hence, we just had some expenses, uh, some incidentals and, and whatnot uh, right at the end of the year. So again, not much happened in 2001, but I thought I would give you the full story. So Let's go to our first full year, 2012. This is where we had to lease it up. We had to get rid of people. We had to, it was a lot of work, heavy lift. Uh, again, none of this stuff we did. It was all done by a property manager. You could see that we didn't collect much rent in January. The new tenants knew they were on borrowed time. Really didn't collect any rent in, in February either. Uh, we start collecting rent in March and April. Uh, but yeah, it was a messy, messy year. Uh, as we were turning units, re rehabilitating uh, the building, 
Uh, you can see expenses down at the bottom called general repairs. Uh, we spent we spent forty five thousand dollars on just general repairs, eight grand on supplies, um, large appliances, refrigerators, stoves, ACs. It was it was it was a year full of expenses. Uh, we still collected forty four thousand in income that year, which actually was better than I expected. I didn't, I don't remember this time. But as you can see, we had expenses of $80,000. Again, that is without mortgage payments. So we had $104,000 in expenses when you add mortgage payments that first year. Again, 50,000 of that was escrowed. So we, we already put that away, right? So we lost $59,000 that year. But again, we were buying a dog. The dog had fleas, it was a heavy lift. We expected the first year to be ugly. Uh, we were ready for it. This was definitely not our first unit. So 2013, uh, income went up about 10 grand. Again, we were getting a better class of tenant. We, we had to recycle a couple of times because it, you can't move in. If when you have a bad building full of undesirables that, that are just doing bad things, you can't recycle them out and get in great tenants right away. It has to go through a churning process. So it was really... It was messy, uh, but yeah, rents went up. They they started to be about five uh, uh, five hundred fifty bucks a month. Which again, this is two thousand thirteen. Uh, what else do we have? We had some more repairs and whatnot. Uh, but again, we did we did a lot of work that first year. Again, something that we do. Uh, if you're in my course, we talk about make ready costs. I believe in doing it right the first time. And um, that means you really do lower your operational or capital expenditures going forward when you do it right the first time. You still have some stuff still breaks. Uh, tenants aren't always nice to property, so you'll still have some repairs. Uh, but you can see that expenses went down. So expenses were twenty one thousand year two. What were they the first year? I already forgot. Uh, they were eighty thousand the first year, so noticeably better. So again, uh, we made about 8,000 in cash flow year two. Again, I don't remember this building. Uh, so it's actually better than I expected. I would have expected year two to be negative, but uh, even after including mortgage payment, we, uh, we made a little money year two. Uh, year three, this is 2014 now. You can see the date right there in the middle. Uh, again, rent stayed kind of flat from the year before. Uh, let's look. Uh, we start having turnover. You can see the turnover here. We had two, at least two turns, maybe three. Uh, we had an electrical issue in uh, May, 1100 bucks. I think that was the washer dryer area because this has a remote washer dryer, but I don't know that for sure. We had pest control. Uh, we had somebody with bed bugs, as I remember. Bed bugs were a thing. Again, C-class area problems. For us to fix, not fun, but yes, it did happen. Uh, yeah, expenses actually went up a little bit because uh, we actually started having turnover and repair, turnover is the issue. So we roll forward to 2015, where is it? There it is, sorry. There it is, it's catching up. So where are we? So 2015 rents went up again, where it went from 54 to 62,000. That's the total, you can see it right there on the right. Uh, let me scroll down, look at what's going on. Uh, it's, it's, it's nothing. Uh, we have turnover again. Yeah, the building had a bunch of turnover. You can see that there in the general line item right at the bottom. Uh, nothing, uh, nothing crazy. It was a good year. We made 19 grand cash flow, spending money. 2016 rent stayed flat year to year so again right around 63 any big expenses again turnovers you can see general repairs february march oh another one probably in july so again turnovers is what gets you uh, again apartments turn over a lot more than houses turnover in, in apartments is much especially c-class apartments they turn over quite a bit Um, in cash flow is okay, almost two grand a month. Oops. 2017 now. Oh, rents went down. Why did rents go down? I don't know why rents went down. Let's see. 
Oh, we must have had some evictions. Turnover versus evictions, turnover. Um, they leave on their own. They're probably paying, but evictions, they don't pay. So we probably had some evictions. Uh, we had termite issue, termite ground, probably a spray form. We had to do code enforcement was called by someone. We had to do a $1,200 code repair. What else? Oh yeah, we had an eviction. You could see that there, line 5006, we paid an attorney. So in California, that probably means three, maybe four months of no rent. Uh, we had a uh, eviction. Other than that, not, not too bad. Oh, actually, yeah, because rents were down. Again, evictions are painful. 2018, rents are down again. What happened here? Let's see. Oh, another eviction probably. Must have got some of it paid for because we only paid 375 versus usual 750. What else? Yeah, another turnover, probably two turnovers here. We had one definitely in February, probably one in May, June. Again, two turnovers in a year in an apartment. Not great. Still made some money though. Keep going, 2019. Rents are up. Rents jumped in 2019. Look at that, 80. From what were they, 58, something like that? Um, so again, now rents are roughly 800 a unit from five. Definitely had the turnover here. Oh, wow, look at that turnover. 5,000, that somebody, somebody was not kind to a unit, that's for sure. That's pretty hard to do, a $5,000 turnover. That probably, yeah, I don't know what that would have been. But that we probably had to have water damage probably for that to be a problem. Yeah, look at that. Total repairs for the year was fourteen grand. One of one one unit cost almost half that. Bad, bad, bad. Okay. Yeah, so that was a good year, two thousand nineteen. Twenty twenty. Uh, again, rents are 800-ish. I think this is the year we bought, or no, that was 21, I think. I think we bought a roof. We put a new roof on. I think that's next, I think that's 2021. Yeah, so again, nothing spectacular here. Yeah, so that was a good year, 35K. And then this year, Again, rents are up, but you can see there we had uh, a new roof we put on for like 44 grand or something. Uh, it's, it's basically five buildings. We, we got two units side by side. So it's five buildings plus a carport. We did everything right. It's a flat roof, which I hate, but again, it is what it is. And um, yeah, so that uh, that's expensive. Roofs are expensive. So again, uh, we lost money last month because of the roofs, which again, we've been reserving for. We knew we knew about the roofs when we bought it. So we had put money away over time, <coughs> but yeah, so that's, um, that's what it is. So uh, a couple of things about owning C-class apartments. One is uh, tenant turnover. Uh, if you are going to buy a problem building, I would tell you to plan for two or three tenant turns because you can't go from problems, not paying drug dealers in the light to solid citizens. Uh, it's not a jump that's made. You're gonna have to um, do a couple of tenant cycles. You probably will have people be destructive on purpose just because they're mad. Um, you will see that rent increases can happen quite substantially, but they're also can be flat year to year. Uh, you know, again, we talked about utilities. I did not, ex I expected utilities to be up. I noted that they were 4139 in, in 2012. They were 4669 in 21. Uh, management fees went up because again, rents went up. So again, these are interesting. Um, but this is why I, we sold some buildings. We sold a couple of apartment buildings, C-class buildings uh, in 19, because they were overpriced. Uh, why did we do that? Because we bought buildings that were underpriced. And if you want to overpay for something we own, we know what it's like to manage C-class apartments. It's not easy. 
and uh, we will gladly let someone overpay. So uh, hopefully you like that. Hope you like those numbers. Let me know what you think. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, all of that great stuff. We need to grow this channel so that we can help more people. Have a great day. Thank you very much.